next to all of the features discussed so far, Flopzilla also offers features that are hidden off screen. One of those is the overlap matrix, which is a feature that will become visible when you enlarge Flopzilla's window downwards. This overlap matrix will show you the overlap between different statistics in the statistics section. Now, it was already possible to see this overlap between statistics by mousing over them. For example, we see here that there's 208 combos of cut shots, and if I mouse over it, it shows that 24 of those combos are also top pair, 24 are also middle pair, and 32 are ace high, and so on. The matrix below basically shows the same information, only now in a slightly different form. So here we can see that there's 208 combos of cut shots, 24 are also top pair, 24 are middle pair, and 32 are ace high. And if we mouse over one of those numbers, for example, if I mouse over cut shot and top pair, the starting hand matrix will show you which hands specifically are both a cut shot and a pair. It's also possible to see this matrix in percentage form. For that, press tab to toggle to percentage mode. And apparently, of the times that the range hits a gut shot, in 11.5% of the cases it will also be top pair. You may also notice that there are some other buttons hidden off screen as well. This button will select four random board cards for you. And this one will select five random board cards. And if you click this checkbox, the flop will remain fixed when you click the randomizer buttons. And over here, this button will choose two random dead cards for you. Finally, here in the lower right, there's a clear all fields button. Clicking it will reset all fields to their standard setting. There's also a field here. And it allows you to select suits in the starting hand matrix. However, I'll discuss that in a separate video.